Okay, I've had to do a bit of fiddling to uh, check the levels and things, but essentially, uh, where am I now? I've got a Audacity saved file. It's just a mono WAV file that I recorded that assembler program that I found earlier. So I loaded the assembler program off analog tape into the Auric, and then I saved the the program directly into my PC using Audacity to capture the sound. And I think I think it works. So I'm gonna just try it again now with the video on. So load it at fast rate, then I'm gonna press play on Audacity. And it should, yes, it's gone, it's saying loading. Even though I, I have just tried this, you still wonder. now. I think the program is only about 55 seconds long uh, at fast speed. I mean, that just shows how much quicker the fast was. It was probably too fast for the day. I'm trying to save it 2400 bits per second to an analog tape with all the variability of tape drive, sort of um, uh, consistency of the tape drive speed and tape head speed, and also just the audio quality. Uh, it, was, it was no wonder that a lot of uh, the fast speed saving on the Oric didn't work that well. But this works, um, or it has worked at slow, I loaded it, I'm saving it back at fast, saved it back at fast on the PC, and now I'm loading it back on the from the PC at fast, and it's done. So if I list this, fingers crossed, it looks like the program is intact. And it's just crazy to, and funny to look back on a program that I wrote when I was about 14 and a bit years old, um, trying to learn machine code, needing to write my own assembler so that I could write more advanced machine code than using direct hex pokes into, into memory. These are just all part of the program. And then right at the end is the, the little user program which um, I, I've added, but what I found is that I need to, no, no, this is correct. So I found that um, basically everything is in hex. Um, so 400 is fine, RTS is fine. I'm gonna run it. Yeah, I'm gonna run it. So the first thing it does, it's having to initialize all of the opcodes for the assembler. There are 55, 56 opcodes in the standard uh, or the original MOS 6502. Um, so this is not the, um, the 6565CO2, uh, which had extra instructions. This is the original 6502 in the Auric. So it's uh, 56 instructions. And what it's doing right now is going through all those data statements to um, set up the arrays, which uh, map the opcode to the different um, addressing modes uh, and, and that's so that's done and it didn't like it brilliant so it did all that and then it just said I don't like it and I don't know what why that is unknown opcode so if I look at my program it says that's unknown oh I know why it's because I need to I need to say ADR dollar 0400 to denote the fact that it's uh, so I'll run it again and then I have to, this is the problem you have to go through the whole initialization again I guess I was more patient then or at least I knew how the program worked better then um, but it's funny though loading programs takes a long time uh, and and I think talk about patience but but actually now if you have a PlayStation or Xbox or whatever, uh, you buy the latest game, you plug it in, and then you you having to wait a, for for an hour or whatever. I don't know for a long time anyway for the game to update itself. Obviously, these games are huge compared to these eight bit games of the eighties, but it's a funny way. It's a little bit sort of going back in time where you have to wait for things. Oh, it's this time it's compiled it, and uh, it's showing me that it's compiled to address four hundred or assemble to address 400, it decoded RTS as the hex code 60, which I know is correct for RTS, and then it's finished. 
So if I just do call um, 0400, it should just work, I think. You're just going to return without doing anything. Yes. I'm going to write a more advanced program on my Auric uh, using my assembler uh, to show something actually happening.